So recall that we have been talking about the work energy theorem, that the work that's done is the change in the kinetic energy. We're going to do something very similar today. The impulse that's done is the change in the total momentum. Now, unlike work and energy, uh, impulse and momentum are vectors. The momentum as a vector is m times v, which is a vector. Um, where momentum comes from is actually Newton's laws, the way Newton thought about them. We think about Newton's laws as F equals MA, but what Newton thought about was that the force is the time rate of change of momentum. So just check, if the mass isn't changing, then the time rate of change of velocity is acceleration. So the time rate of change of momentum is indeed a force. Interestingly, there isn't really a special unit for momentum, and I don't know why that is. So the units for momentum are just going to be kilograms, uh, meters per second. That's just kind of the way it is. Um, and we said that the work that's done, we said that the work that's done was an integral of a force over some distance. And the dot product gave us the scalar. Impulse is the integral of the sum, rather, uh, the, of force over time. Oop, over time. So these two things should sort of go together for you, that one is a vector, um, and it's because it's the sum of a vector times a scalar, and the other, work, is a scalar, because it's a um, sum of a force over some distance, but as a scalar product, so that gives you just a number out. Okay, so that means that the impulse that's done gives you the change in momentum. How momentum becomes most useful to us is we're going to start talking in earnest about systems. And for systems, we're going to talk about the total momentum. The total momentum, sometimes written as a capital P, is the sum of all the individual momenta of the parts. So where energy had, you know, we talk about kinetic energy, but there's also this concept of potential energy, and then there's thermal energy that's a change in internal energy by non-conservative forces and all this. Momentum really only has this one form. It's hard because it's a vector, but it's easy in the sense that we can just count it up for all of the different parts. It doesn't have any sort of invisible type parts like energy does in terms of thermal energy and things like that. So for a system, um, for an isolated system, that means that for an isolated system means that there's no external impulse. So the change in the total momentum is zero, and we say momentum is conserved. Okay, that's pretty much it.